to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because it is one I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And so today I'm going to show you guys how I create a wing liner. And we're actually going to use two different products to demonstrate. So I'm going to use the Mary Kay liquid eyeliner pin on one eye. Um, you can use the normal version or you can use the waterproof. Really for this video, it's just going to be demonstrating how I create it. And then on the other eye, I'm going to use the Mary Kay gel eyeliner, which I used to love this stuff maybe like two or three years ago, especially when I was first starting out how to do a wing liner. Gel was so much easier for me to use. But now that I've kind of really gotten my technique down, I know what works for me on my eye shape. The eyeliner pin, I get it done in like two seconds. So we're going to jump right in to get started. So if you want to see how I do this and any tips and tricks that I have, then keep watching. Right. So in order to get started, my face is pretty much mostly made up um, foundation, highlight, blush, all that good stuff. But the only thing is I didn't put on any eyeliner and I also don't have on any mascara. Personally, I like to leave mascara to the very end of my eye look. So once I do my eyeshadow, once I do my liner, then I'll go ahead in with mascara. Um, it's just my lashes are really curly and get in the way of me trying to get all that done when they have mascara on. So we're gonna leave that to the end, um, but I have nothing else on my eyes except for just one eyeshadow. I ended up taking the Mary Kay Cocoa Contour Shade and I just put that in the crease just to add a little bit of definition so that way they're not completely bare, but we're gonna jump right in and get started. So, for anyone who is either used to doing wing liner or you've never done it in your life, I hope that I have some really good tips and tricks for you guys. Um, I may insert a photo of what it looked like when I first started doing wing liner. So now, it's definitely been a, uh, what's the word? It's been, it's been an evolution, truly, uh, from I started, I think it was sophomore year of college till now, so we're talking, oh man, that was like seven years ago. That was like, what, 2013? Yeah, seven years. Crazy how time flies, man. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started and demonstrate what I do. So taking the pen, I actually, when I first started doing wing liner, I started with a pencil just to get used to like drawing the shape and filling it in, and that helped me. But if you want to start with a pen, the pen is also really easy to clean up. Um, but first and foremost, you want to make sure that your eyes are prepped and ready. And then with wing liner, a steady and soft hand is key. Make sure that, you know, you're not too, too nervous. If you need to rest your hand or your arm on the table, if you need to, you know, position your hand to where you have it resting on your face, you can do that as well. Just slow and steady wins this race because it can be tricky, especially when finding your eye shape. And so one thing that I do is I really just try to look at matching that line for the wing liner to the bottom lash line. Um, depending on how you like it, really find out what shape works for you in the sense of what you like. Um, but I try to make sure I map it to directly correlate with that bottom lash line area so just a straight line up from there some people wing it out a little more slanted more horizontal some people go really really high depending on your eye shape so i recommend just playing around with it and seeing what works for you um, and so i'm going to show you guys what i start with and so taking that pen starting at the very end of my eye so past the lashes i'm going to just draw Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just going to draw a straight angled line. And as you can see, I'm just building it up. Like that. And so again, just reminding you, that angle for me correlates with my lash line on the very bottom. So that angle there, it's kind of tilted, but just kind of following that same path. And then we're going to fill it in from there. But really, I would say this is like the hardest part. Mine is trying to make sure like they're symmetrical. This part right here can be tricky depending on the tool that you're using. So this felt tip pen makes it really easy for me. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and I filled it in and I kind of just let it taper off and flicker off at the very end. And so now I am going to connect this line and I'm gonna draw a line on top 
to connect it to my normal lash line. And so I normally don't start at the very end. I might start like right under the very end and just slowly make a thin line connecting down. And you may need to like open and close your eye a bit to figure out how to position your eye. And so I make that small little line and as you can see it actually connects to the crease in my eye. But I'm going to skip that I'm going to continue going down like that. And so this is just the basis for your winged liner like that. And then before I even go back and fill in, I'm now going to create small little lines on my lash line. And this is going to help to be the band of that wing. So I'm trying to stay as close to the lash line as possible. And just slowly making little tick marks like that. And then now, as you can see, there's still a little bit of space right there. I want to connect the rest of it evenly. So I'm just going to go back up here and I'm just going to draw it to be a little bit thicker right there. So starting out here, drawing the line down, I filled in the lash line and now I'm just connecting pieces of it to make it a little bit thicker. Like I said, a very soft, steady hand. Take your time. This does not need to be rushed. This is probably one of the longest processes that I do. Um, I'm pretty good at it now, but in the beginning, it was a, it, it took a while for me to do this. I'm just gonna continue to fill it, make this as thick or thin as possible. Start then. You can always add, but the worst thing about it is you cannot take away from wing liner. You can go from normal to Amy Winehouse in like two seconds and it can be a lot. So take your time. And then once you have the lash line filled like you want it, then you can start to fill in some more. And this is also where I'm going to go back out and fill in the rest of this wing. And really, I'm just doing little dabs as I'm filling it in. I'm not kind of swiping and wiping. I'm just doing quick little dabs. Like that. And then if you want to, I want to make it a little more smooth. I want to make this dip a little more smooth. So I'm just going to go and add a little bit. I'm just going to draw another line right on top of it just to smooth that out and then make sure I like to make sure the thickness of this area here matches the thickness on the rest of my eye. I'm just going to increase the thickness. So that, that's like my standard everyday wing. It's not too much. It's pretty, pretty daily wearable. I'm just filling in. One thing you'll notice though, is you may see gaps in between your lashes. Just go ahead and fill that in. And then the rest will be filled obviously when you put mascara on. But I just like to make sure I double touch everything. And make sure no space left behind. So this was using the eyeliner pen. Again, it's really simple to use. Um, it's really just all about your hand control, making sure that you feel comfortable drawing it on and going from there. But really this step is just finding out what works for your eye shape. A tip for me when I do winged liner is I do not like to take it above where this little crease area is for me because then when I open and close my eye, you don't see that separation. It just looks like a big black mark. So make sure you play around again with your eye shape, with how your eyes naturally lay. That's why you could see as I was doing it, I was lifting my head back, 
moving and opening and closing my eye just to see how it looks when it's closed versus when it's open to make sure as I blink, you can clearly see that separation. I hope that all made sense. So now we're gonna move on to the gel. And so I used to love the gel back in the day, like loved the gel. Another great thing about the gel though is before we had a waterproof pen, this gel, it's not technically waterproof, but I promise you it took everything and some to get this off. Like I would wear this to like weddings or even funerals and I could cry and I would be, I'd be fine. It wouldn't go anywhere. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna take it. As you can see, I've used a lot of it, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dab some. And so the biggest thing about using the gel is once you have some on your brush, go ahead and I use the edges just to take off the excess, but then also to smooth the brush down. So that way it's very thin. And so we're gonna use the same technique as I did on my right eye. I'm just gonna flip and I'm going to take it and hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just going to angle it and I'm just gonna actually like stamp. Like that. So I didn't put a lot of pressure on it, but as you can see, there's a little line there. So now that that line is there, I'm gonna use that as my map. I'm gonna go back over it a little more. Like that. And then again, I'm just gonna go ahead and start to connect it to my eye. Like that. So same technique, I've made the line up. I mean that line going down, connecting it to my eye, and then I'm gonna start to fill in. Now what's funny is I can tell the difference when I do this because originally with the pen, I drew the line, I created the band, and then I filled in the wing. But with the gel, for some reason, I go ahead and fill in the wing and then finish connecting the eye. So obviously you can do it a plethora of ways, find what works for you, and then go from there. With the gel though, remember you do not need a lot of it at all, like at all. You just need a little bit, wipe off the excess, and then continue to fill it in. And then I'm going to take a little bit more and start to create that band. Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble using this mirror, so I'm gonna take my hand, like the big one that I have here, and I'm gonna just pull my eyes off just a little bit. And so the band is on, the wing is there. So now just like I did on this side, I wanna make sure that everything is even. This is actually like a very cute little wing, but as you can see, it does not match the thickness of this one. So now I'm going to match <laughs> the wing to the wing. That's probably the hardest thing about wing liner is making sure that everything matches and is symmetrical, which is why you start off a little by little. So in order to do this, I'm just gonna take my eye I'm gonna go back to the wing and just thicken it up a bit. Like that. As you can see, it, like I said, my lashes are really curly, so they totally get in the way. But and then sometimes you do too much. I got it because my lashes totally got in the way. I'm gonna wipe off a little bit of that. Take a little bit more. There we go. Just 
So basically, that is that. I'm going to throw on some mascara and then I'm going to show you guys the difference because this for me is what my eyes look like without mascara and then with mascara, it's totally, totally different ballgame. So I'll be right back. Um, the only thing I did not show you guys was if you mess up the wing, how do you clean it up? And it's really simple. All you need is some type of like flat brush. If it's not this one, um, there's plenty of just like small, even honestly, even an angled brush would work. If I didn't use this for, for the gel, I could use this to clean up. But basically all you're gonna do is take some concealer. Literally, I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take my brush, dip it in there. Just a little bit goes a long way. And then I'm gonna go to where I messed up and I'm literally just gonna carve it out with concealer. So like, obviously I didn't mess this one up, but if I wanted to clean it up some more, I just take it and go like that. And then run down. Obviously blend this so that way it doesn't look like crazy underneath your eye. But just like that. I'm gonna blend it some more because that was a lot. But That. since I could do the same thing on this side say especially if I wanted to make that edge like super sharp just elongate it out drag a little bit of it down blend it out with your finger that's it cleaning up a wing can actually be very simple um, only if you just need to clean up the bottom if you put too much on top then you know I would really just encourage you to start over because you can't take away from the top up here but down here breeze easy so yeah i think that is all of my tips for how to do a winged liner um i guess if you guys want more details or you have questions definitely let me know like i said this took me forever to do and learn i started with a pencil back in 2013 in my dorm room and here we are seven years later and you guys have seen me and all my looks just boom bam done like i love it it's so easy and simple so yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable and I think that's all I have. So I'll see you guys in my next video.